thing that we like in sports are records. And you take a look at this Baltimore Raven team, they won 21 straight preseason games. That's impressive to me. I think it matters a lot. And I think John Harbaugh obviously has created a culture here in Baltimore. That culture building is so important. And I've been in locker rooms where the coach preaches it. What's unique in Baltimore is the veteran players echo the same sentiment. Put your best tape out there, bro. What y'all want to leave on, out here on the field? What y'all want to do? Everything on you, bro. Everything between you and you. How y'all want to leave out here on the field, bro? Get this done, bro. Let's get it. Yeah. Family of three. One, two, three. Family. There's so many guys out here that this is not just another preseason game. This is their opportunity to start a career, maybe extend a career. Here in week two of the preseason, and we are underway. It's complete to Lakely. He should have a first down. Huntley barrels out to the left, fires, and it is caught down at the 35-yard line. And the ball is still in the hands of Isaiah Lightly. There's the playmaking that the Ravens love when they drafted him in a big gain of 20. Aiden Cook. He a problem. Like, he a problem. Let's go, Pep. You got the battery in your back today, baby. All right? That means you're going to set the energy. All right? What a hit that was. And it brings up fourth down. Under pressure, the pass is intercepted. Kyle Fuller. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! That's my die. Good job, baby. Good job. Hey, Pep, I see you, old boy. Huntley's off to a good start. He's five for five. Huntley wide open over the middle. He's got a completion for first down. And it's likely again. Uh, those two are feeling it. Six catch of the night for Likely. Huntley throws, and it is caught again by Lakely. Steps out of a tackle at the 30. 25, sheds a man, 20. Stiff arms a man all the way down to the 10-yard line. Isaiah Lakely. Mind you, this is a rookie. This is a young player who's just learning the game. He has incredible field. They can't tackle this guy, and he catches everything. Huntley to throw, fires to the end zone. It's Lakely, touchdown Ravens. 67 yards on the drive for Isaiah Likely, the rookie tight end. What a drive, what a first half. Can't say enough good things about this young kid. Hey, we just gotta challenge these dudes now. We gotta step up in here and go go challenge these guys, all right? Just control what you can control. Use great technique, go cover. That's all you can do. McSorley on the quick snap is oh, intercepted. Nice interception. Midfield, Pepe Williams down to the Cardinal 45, still on his feet 40. And Pepe Williams all the way down to the Arizona 35-yard line. The Ravens defense comes up with its second turnover of the evening. And Pepe Williams takes the air out of Arizona's offense. Baltimore offense has been super impressive. It's really flashed. Pleasure absorbs the big hit from Ross. Garantano lets it go. Kirkland incomplete, and the Ravens will take over. And the win streak in preseason continues as the Ravens will win it tonight in Arizona, 24-17. Ravens will be happy to get on the plane and back to Baltimore after a productive week here in Arizona. One, two, three, Ravens! And turn their attention to the preseason finale Saturday night against Washington. Just kind of keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. Years. Everybody, everybody's all unique, and everybody who is here, there's a reason that you'll be here because you can do certain things really well. That's what you'll be here for. What was the week or the last ten days like for you? As you know, you, you sign with a new team, you go through practices, and you know you have to play pretty quickly. The Ravens were quick to jump on the opportunity to sign Demarcus Robinson when he came available. I'm a king. Yeah, I'm a king. I got the whole land on my shoulder. It's my time and the wait is over. Demarcus Robinson was a 90% chance to make the team before Saturday yeah. night. Now he's like 120% chance. Third deep blocks it back wide open, and he's got it at the 30 to the 20. Welcome to Baltimore. Demarcus Robinson touchdown down the Ravens. I would describe my first few weeks as a Rave man. First of all, excited, um, enthused just to be here. It's been a great experience just meeting the guys, and I'm just looking forward to just doing great things on the field and off. Going long down the 
What made me come here was the call from Eric DaCosta. He gave me a call and I was like, I'm leaving the Raiders for the moment and I'm checking out a couple other teams. But he was the first to call, so I went to Arizona just to meet him. We had a long talk on Thursday and Friday before the game. And when once I came here to visit, um, everybody still made me feel like this could be home. So I visited and I didn't want to leave. I met Lamar and sat down and talked with a couple guys and they wanted to put me in the offense. So it was just the right choice for me. First pass of the night, going deep, lobbed it back wide open, and he's got a touchdown, Ravens! 67 yards! That's good! That's good! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Number one, three minutes. Love you, Ma. Me being older, being a vet now, it's just being, being smart, um, telling the guys it's a long season, you know. Um, it don't happen overnight, so we all gotta stick together. Some, some some games you might make plays, some games you might not make plays, but just uh, just stay honed in, and you know what I'm saying. It's a bigger picture ahead of us, so just stay locked in for sure. Yeah, it is special. When well, he had one game where he had four four touchdowns against the Seahawks, uh, I watched that on YouTube a couple times, and I was like, dang, man, he was big. He used to run people over. And... Throwing deep in the back of the end zone, and it is caught. Marcus Robinson caught him, touchdown. Breaking a tackles, Robinson, he's at the 25-20. He's in, touchdown Marcus Robinson, his second of the game. Going for Robinson again. Oh, Marcus Robinson, what an adjustment. Oh, his third touchdown reception in the corner. And right to Robinson <laughs> is working like magic. Right looking, throwing the same play for Robinson. He's got it, his fourth touchdown pass. Marcus Robinson has established a new Ravens record with his fourth touchdown catch of the game. I didn't know that he held the record for that. That's super cool. Uh, yeah, I got to go get that record, though. <laughs> well, he's excited for sure. I told him he should come back, man, just to say, hey, say what's up, because a lot of guys uh, have talked about him. So I'm like, man, come down. Come, come see what Baltimore is talking about. Tuesday, it's the cut down to 53. Days are short now for Ravens players to try to make their way to that 53-man roster. Ravens block, last preseason game. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to ball, get this dub. Take it back to the crib. Hey, just watch, man. Let's do it for each other, man. Let's, Let's put our best foot forward and so everything falls in place after. Oh, the atmosphere was great, man. It was loud in there. Um, that was what I was looking forward to, and I was just trying to get the fans a show, and it, was, it turned out pretty good. When I was a rookie in 2017, undrafted defensive lineman, played four preseason games. So that fourth game, I mean, you just had to leave no doubt that you are good enough to play in this league, to be a Raven. Hit hard by Josh Ross. The inside run game will get nothing. Go lose a yard of the play. I love guys who, when they know the pressure's on, play well. And you know, people have been talking about Ross for weeks. He knew Saturday night that everything was on the line for him, that he didn't have a lock, and he ends up with 11 tackles. Run a play with the same route, they gonna see it. And then we're getting tired of stuff when we're hitting this dude, running feet. You know what I'm saying? Running feet. Coach Zach, man, he's just a great, great, great coach, great guy, great mentor. You know, a guy that's literally done everything I, I want I want to do, you know, and some um, with his career being an undrafted guy. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Let's go. Three now, take away, baby. Communicate. Do our job. The Ravens yet again will close out with a perfect preseason record. That's 23 straight wins. And now the decisions that John Harbaugh and Eric DaCosta face over the next couple of days as they build that roster. Three wins by the Every single guy, every single guy in the room. One, two, three. I want to talk a little bit about the time. You know, it's the timing of things, and everybody kind of knows. And, uh, business part of it, or you know, the, the roster part of it, it's kind of always unique and individual. Do you agree? Everybody's kind of in their own in their own spot and kind of fighting for their own their own uh, for their own future that way. And we put it all together. You know, all the motivations and all the all the things that we all play for. And we have a team, you know, and then we see what we do together. So that's kind of how it works. So I just want to encourage you not to be, as much as you can, not to be anxious, okay? Not to, not to worry about, it. you know, we, we talked about, you know, worry's not going to add another day to anybody's career. You work so hard to that point, you know, OTAs, rookie minicamp, 
training camp and the last week is like, this is it. So for me, it was like control the things you can control. Everything happens for a reason. So was, I felt like I did everything I could at that point to make myself, you know, my na a name and make myself a roster spot on this team. And at that point, I just had to, you know, see what happens and not really stress about it and um, not worry about it too much. It was definitely a crazy week. I mean, that's for sure. I find myself in the perfect situation, uh, being able, being undrafted free agent and picking the Ravens and working my butt off in camp every single day, trying to be the best player I can be, showing showing everybody, proving to myself, showing everybody what I'm capable of. The Ravens have a long history of undrafted free agents finding these gems. I yep. think he's he's the latest example. Josh Ross, I mean, I've seen a young guy who is very mature. You can tell that he's a pro. You know, when he's in the meetings, you know, I'm in special teams with him, he's on top of his stuff. Whenever you ask him any question, he has the answer. And that's what you want for young guys, especially young drafted guys. They have to be on top of their stuff. They have to make sure, you know, they're being a pro before other guys. And I feel like he is, is a pro right now. Coach just said that uh, his brother announced that you made the team. Was that how you found out or were you found out beforehand? The one thing I told Jim like two or three days ago that he was going to make it, you know, then Jim came out and made the announcement. <laughs> really exciting news too. My, my brother John says, Josh is going to make the team. Oh, great! Yeah, and um, they've got a they've got a record at the at the Ravens 18, 19 years of an of an undrafted player making the team. Tomorrow we'll find out, but um, looks looks great for Josh Ross. I, I knew it was real when it was real, and uh, <laughs> and it was kind of funny, but I knew it was real when it was real, and uh, it's just it's exciting to be a part of this team and keep and keep working. Whenever you are making the 53 man team, usually no one tells you. So that's a good thing. If you don't hear anything, that means you made it. And for me, it's like as soon as 4 p.m. on Tuesday hits and you didn't hear anything, you're on the roster. And that's what happened with me. And I just, you know, kept it that way. I didn't want anyone to talk to me or call me because, you know, you never you never know what that uh, conversation would be like. Yeah, it was a lot of emotions. I'm not gonna lie. That was uh, that was kind of around the four o'clock time um, after, you know, finding out I made the team just because it's like, I mean, I've really been working my butt off and my head's been down the whole time and it's gonna stay down. It's like, man, like, you know, it's, it's paying off. But now it's just another opportunity to go out there and keep getting better. The legacy of the undrafted free agent, specifically the linebacker undrafted free agent, like, it, it, it's, it, it, it makes me so excited. And that's what the undrafted free agent linebacker at the Ravens is about. It's about grit um, and it's about working your butt off every day and getting what you earn. The success here that this organization has had with finding undrafted guys, if I'm one of the names, I mean, like I said, I take great pride just because it's incredibly hard to do and it's just hats off to the organization, the front office, the scouts, the coaches for developing the guys and you know, the, the guys here to embrace these guys, to help them get that chance. And I took that opportunity and I came here and, and, and stood on my 10 toes um, and worked my butt off, man. And that's what I'm gonna continue to do every day. Um, Cause that's what I'm about. Thank you, Josh. Yes, Congrats. Thank you. You know how it works in life, right? You know, you're given responsibility. You do it well. You get entrusted with more responsibility, right? Coach, player, any job, anything in life. That's just how it works. So just keep that in mind and do your best. You know, and leave it at that. We have everybody in the room, everybody on the field, everybody in the locker room, everybody in the meeting rooms. We go out and play on Sunday. Everybody doing their job, you know, fulfilling their role to the best of their ability. We're going to win.